Often it's too easy to make assumptions in golf and all clubs are definitely not equal. These are two very different mini drivers, so don't be fooled. And in this video, I'll highlight the difference between the both of them. TaylorMade started this trend, but why? And did anyone expect the success? Now, I'm well aware that Callaway and TaylorMade did this in years gone by, but the introduction of the so-called original one in 2019 has seen them become a hot ticket on each release, and now Callaway have joined the party. At this point, I can already guarantee two types of commentator, and oddly enough, the first are those that haven't even tried one. So it's gonna go something like this. It's a two wood, just shorten your driver shaft, choke down on your driver, or it's a marketing gimmick. And then there are those that have actually tried one. And guess what? They love it. This year's Burner Mini Driver is TaylorMade's best effort so far, in my opinion. For me, the retro style strikes a nostalgic chord, but with a modern twist that delivers on every level, particularly at address. The Callaway product, on the other hand, is an extension of the current Paradigm AI Smoke lineup, and it sits visually alongside that range, and everything that's right about the tailor-made crown is what I dislike about the Callaway. I just wish the Callaway crown was the same finish as that matte grey band along the front leading edge. There is also the size difference, 340cc Callaway and 300cc tailor-made, and not only is this something that could push you to one or the other it did have an impact on performance which i'll come to later they also sound and feel very different not a big deal for some but all the same very different now at this point it could be easily argued that none of the above affects performance and you'd be right well all except the difference in the size heads what i found to be two very different golf clubs that's going to be really interesting for me because that's two balls hit, which what I felt was sort of uh, as good as I've got in my swing, both with similar tempo and both with very similar ball flight. So I'm really interested to see where the two of them ended up on the fairway and whether or not there's any difference out here in reality. squeezed out to the right a really good ball flight and easy enough to pick up off the turf that's a tailor made let's try that exact same shot with a Callaway because they're very different in terms of the way they sit at a dress it's a big thing for me so I see the challenges that are faced with trying to pick this kind of club off of a tight lie I got it a bit heavy, I mean the ball is still running and it's done a good enough job, but it really does highlight, like I said, just how difficult that is to do. And to be fair on Callaway, I'll give them one more bash off this tee and see if we can do a little better. That's better. Really good strike, really good ball flight. And again, when I talk about ball flight, very similar to that of the Taylor made so yes it's achievable but it's still a big ask and for me neither of these are a go-to club for a tight lie off the ferry for that exact reason it's a high risk shot right okay so that was the Taylor made ball off the tee more than happy with the way I struck it but the second effort that I hit with the Callaway ball uh, driver rather came another sort of just paced out 15 steps there and then we'll go and have a carry on and walk out and see the difference between the tee shots. Because this is quite interesting. It's not a huge difference and uh, there'll be a variable in the bounce. That was the Taylor made ball off the tee. And then this here is the Callaway ball, which again is consistently just that little bit longer. Now, like I said, I'm out here, I've not got track man, I can only go on sort of how it felt, but the swings felt pretty similar, the tempo felt similar, and also the ball flight did, but I'll have a look at those back later on and you've probably already seen them. It's very interesting than what I've seen so far, 
is the Callaway just seems to be eking out just a little bit more yardage in whether it's off the deck or from a tee. Right, it's all done out on the fairways and it's now to look at this dry ball data which tells us a very interesting tale. I normally have a laptop in front of me now to go through all the data parameters to reel them off to you but I don't need to on this occasion and the reason for that is well if you look at the two sets of numbers what you'll soon see is there is absolutely zero to split these two in terms of performance in here on Trackman. I don't think I've ever seen a set of numbers that are quite so close and as I say every single parameter is pretty much identical. Even when you look at the heat map on the strike location on the face that again is very very much out the centre of the club face. I think that's an important bit to note I think that's where that shorter shaft certainly helps. I think if you've seen a heat map on a driver with a shaft that's potentially two and a half inches longer you would see a lot more variable in that strike location so that's a real positive as to why i think a mini driver is a good club but i said and the title of this video perhaps is something along the lines of these are two very different golf clubs and they are but it has nothing to do with trackman data as you can see it's to do predominantly with the way they look and their profile and they're hugely different I've already spoke about the visible differences. I much prefer the sort of satin uh, finish that is on the tailor-made and all round visually, I prefer it. That doesn't affect performance. But one thing that affects me in terms of performance is the size of the head. The Callaway product is 40cc bigger than that of the tailor-made. And whilst it doesn't seem like a lot, when they're sat side by side and you're stood over them, they're hugely different. Now that doesn't affect me on the tee. I have no issue. I actually like the fact that it's those sort of that 300, 300 cc plus size head. But then you talk about versatility and where these two are very different. If you are going to consider the mini driver as an option that is playable off the fairway as well, then for me, I would be leaning towards that tailor-made product simply because it is more compact, it's closer to the size of a three wood, and it seems to present a little bit more loft visibly at a dress, and I don't think I can really show that from the visuals that we can obtain on the camera, but that's something you need to have a look at. The a Callaway product is sort of squashed and a bit more elongated, so it's not as um, bulbous, if you like, as high, but it's certainly stretched out a bit. And for me, like I said, it was a real, off-putting uh, situation at a dress when I was looking to play these on the fairway. They, they, you then go into the sort of sound and feel and they're very much preferential elements, but again, very, very different as to how these both sound and feel. If I'm honest with you, it's a strange one. One part of me leans towards the tailor-made product because of its versatility and because of the sound and feel and because of the looks. But then when I'm looking at um, a driver replacement, I perhaps lean more towards the Callaway product because I did really feel comfortable over the tee. And I didn't feel as though I was making much of a compromise moving from a driver into an alternative product. It just felt, I mean, for me who's played very small driver heads over the years, it was almost a perfect combination. Right, that is me done. I can't go on any longer. You've seen it out on the golf course. You've seen Trackman data. You know my opinion. But that really is irrelevant because what you need to do now is if you are considering them, go out and try them both because they're very, very different and there'll be certain reasons to why you might prefer one over the other. Right, I hope that helped anyway. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.